Okay, this should be somewhat reminiscent of something we did prior. It's a prior problem, by the way. And we did get a solution, by the way, but someone said, how'd you get that solution? Let's talk about it. I always said it's a dozen tricks. Uh, sometimes I can't remember my own tricks that I come up with, but the bottom line is they say over here by making a change of variable. All right, and this is typical. We've done this before in, in uh, calculus, calculus one. So it get, goes find a particular solution over here. And let's take a look at it and see what we can do over here. And let's take their hint. So we got y prime is equal to x plus y. Then they said make a substitution, right? Now before I do that, I want to write down dy dx is equal to x plus y, right? Now let me go over here and say that the substitution is u equals x plus y, all right? So then, you know, if you did that, let's just go on. And let me write that down for you. And looking at it, I'm going to write down du dx. What would that equal? That would equal the derivative of x is 1 plus, now it's going to be the derivative of y dy dx. All right? Let's see what we can do with that. So du dx equals 1 plus dy dx. Well, I think I know what dy dx is, right? Let me write this over here. So du dx equals 1 plus, well, dy dx is just x plus y. Right? That's what dy dx is. It's right over here. And then what did we say? We said, well, let u equal x plus y. So I guess I could write that down now. So du dx equals 1 plus, well, x plus y is just u, all right? Now, what are you going to do now? I'm going to try to, um, I guess, separate variables at this point, and let's see if I can do that. Yeah, I think I can. The way you do that, I'm going to write that as 1 over 1 plus u du would be dx. I'm going to try to integrate both sides, and I think I can do that. So what do you get? The natural log the absolute value 1 plus u equals, the antiderivative of dx is just going to be x plus some constant of integration. Now, i got to remind myself what the condition was. And it looks like a pretty con easy condition. It's just a point zero zero, x is 0, y is 0. Let's write this down. Oh, you know what? i got troubles because I don't want u. I want x and y. So let's write this over here. Natural log, the absolute value of 1 plus x plus y equals x plus c. All right, I'm going to take this now and plug in 0, 0. What do you get? Natural log, absolute value of 1, equals 0, which equals c. So c equals 0. So we get something pretty simple. I get this over here, 1 plus x plus y equals x. Again, c is 0. What I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to rewrite it. All right, now before I do that, I want to start thinking about it. And this is why I always like software to think through things. But, um, yeah, I guess I could just write this down. So 1 plus x plus y equals e to the x. All right? And then what do you get? I could solve for y, right? And what's y going to be given to you? It's going to be e to the x minus x, minus 1. Right. I still want to go back and think about it. And someone says, what are you thinking about? Well, if I'm telling you this is an answer to this problem over here, I'm telling you that y equals e to the x, minus x, minus 1. I want to see if that's true, by the way. And someone says, how would you do that? You go back and check it, all right? How do you check it? Take the derivative of it. Take the point, blah, blah, blah. Let's do the point first. Point zero, you get e to the zero, minus zero, minus one. Zero equals one minus zero, minus one. That's true. The point works out. So let me get my race route. That worked out okay. Let's do the derivative thing now. All right. So what's derivative being? It looks pretty easy. So dy dx is e to the x minus one. And I just plug it in. Where do I plug it in? Right over here. So e to the x minus one is equal to x plus y. And what's y? e to the x minus, whoops, sorry about that, minus x minus 1. The x's disappear, 
And what do you get? EDX minus one equals EDX minus one. Yeah, it works out beautifully, all right? I also want to go over software with you, though. And the reason for the software is I'm always wondering, is there another aid for me to understand the problem? And I always say if I make a mistake or I'm misunderstanding something, sometimes using a tool might help me refine what I believe. All right, so anyway, I think this is my answer, and I want to do the software, and we'll do that next. Thank you.